what is going on family um, today's video is going to be about installation of a crank sprocket on the SRT4 I have not really seen any videos online about them um, no I haven't really been reading um, any post about them online or anything so um, I have to give a shout out to Freedom Racing Tools and Auto LLC. If you've never heard of this website, uh, these people specialize in uh, tools. They have a ton of tools. They sell tools, um, a bunch of. They sell actually a bunch of things online. But the best part about uh, the company is that um, right even right now with the COVID uh, situation we got going on, they um, overnighted. Uh, my crank sprocket tool which is I'll show you guys in a second I had an issue with my card and uh, even though I had an issue with my card they called me up to, to let me know that there was an issue that you know to give them the information and so they can ship it as soon as possible and they still uh, shipped it overnight and I'm very very thankful for that you know again freedom racing tools shout out to you guys this is a tool that you guys are going to need to install the crank sprocket on your SRT4 if you're doing an oil pump, um, whatever, if you just want to you know, replace it. In my case, on the Neon, the oil pump took a dump on me, I did a pull and snapped my belt and also got an oil light, um, didn't hear any weird noises, got home, uh, replaced the belt, turned it on again. And the oil light still appeared. So um, I checked it with the oil pressure gauge and got zero psi. But anyways, if this is the only way I I would ever install the crank sprocket, because if you hit it with a hammer, it yes it is metal, but it's not uh, the hard metal. It's it's brittle. So if you hit it with a hammer, you will break it. I will show you in a second how to do that. Okay, so this is your crank sprocket. The reason I'm using gloves is because I just uh, put it in a, in a bowl of boiling water uh, before putting it in here. Um, this is the crank sprocket. It goes right here. Here's a new oil pump on the SRT. I should have made a video about, about how to put the oil pump on, but man, this thing was just kicking my butt, so I just did that real quick. And just wanted to let you guys know how and how to put the, the crank sprocket on. So I, I spray a little bit of a uh, Oil there, oil in the inside of the crank sprocket. You see here it says, uh, where is it at? It says front. So, uh, this faces the outside of the vehicle. This goes to the oil pump right here. You see the notch in here? Put that notch. Align that notch with. Let me turn on some light. The 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 notch with this part over here on the oil pump or on the uh, the crank. Give it a good push and install your tool. Okay, so how you use the tool is over here. You got what pushes the sprocket in. You have the bearing, you have the nut that will be moving to push the whole sprocket in. You get your 19 millimeter and your ratcheting wrench. You're gonna use this to hold it. And with this, oops, oops. With this, just do that. Drives it in no problem. Ok, 
Okay. So don't forget. Uh, before you uh, bring it in all the way, you have to measure with your feeler gauge, 35 hundredths of an inch. This one's a little, uh, a little blurry. You can't see. Let me see if I can. There you go. 35 hundredths of an inch. back here you still have a, a while so you can keep going There we go. It barely just goes in. So 35 hundredths of an inch, and you're set. This tool makes it so easy to just install. Boom. There you have it.